There are 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many didn't? Lamb update. Very close to getting up on his feet. On his feet. Oh, come on. Come on, son. Come on. No, oh, he's close, he's close. He's getting there. I'll give him a wee hand and he can mow about, get a bit of strength. The farm sounds like a zoo this morning. Sheep here buying away. More sheep buying away. Highland cows at the top mooing away. Cows over that direction mooing away. There was two new calves born last night. We'll just go and see them. This is the second of the new calves. The mother's a bit... Oh yeah. <laughs> a bit fiery. Don't fancy going in there with her. So we'll just leave her to it. Make sure the calf starts to sook. If it doesn't, We'd, um, we'd pen it up, pen the cow up and we'll get in about the calf and get it to suck. But for now, I'm just going to stay on this side of the fence. <laughs> it's a nice healthy looking calf. It was born just a couple of hours ago. Up on its feet, no problem. Only issues to manage a bit. A bit touchy. I'm just sticking on this side of the fence. And the other new calf is that one there. Same again, nice and healthy, up quick. They're all tucking in this morning. Still waiting for the grass to grow a bit. Should be kind of covering my boots, but it's not. This is Zoe the calf. Named by Emily, my niece. More fertilizer today, P and K on wheat. The first of the calves born didn't really suck all morning, so we've just brought it into this headstock a bit, and then we've managed to get a calf onto it, and the cow's not able to have a go for us. It's getting on fine now, it's had a big drink, it's barely will be full now. I'll tag it. Um, we spray its, its navel in there uh, to prevent um, disease because that's just like a pathway straight to the heart, the umbilical cord where it's cut off. So spray that, keep it clean, doesn't pick up any diseases and that calf will be fine. Just sorting out tags and there's a... Made its way in for some soya. Loves the soya, loves anything that's in here lying about. So these are their tags. This will be the passport number of that calf, that wee boy that was just born. Then this bit here, that's a BVD sampling tag. So one of these, this one, this cuts a wee, a wee chunk out of the ear, puts it into that wee vial, send that away, and then it gets tested for BVD. And then we can be sure that all our calves are BVD clear. Um, so, and the blank one, that's a management tag. So if you want to fill in um, any numbers for your own kind of recording system, you can do that there. I don't fancy going through an airport with one of these. So I filled in the management tag that I use. So I don't really need them, but I've got a blank space. So 11, that's 11th calf. D, that's a month. So that's April. And we've called it Tim. That was my first subscriber, so. That calf's getting a name. So this is just like a girl getting an ear piercing. That's the first tag. I put this tag, the management tag, on the left side as you look at it, if it's a bull, on the right side if it's a heifer. Now he's got his tags, I just, his navel gets a spray with this, his iodine, cleans it up. That's just a pathway, it's the broken off umbilical cord, it's a pathway straight to the heart. We make sure it's clean. And there he is, wee Tim. 
Tag. Three Tim. T-I-N. Ready to go, he's tagged. Full belly of food. I'll let the mother go and stay well out of her way. So that's the vial there with the lug of the ear tag in it. And that'll be sent away, tested for BVD, and then we'll get the results. And hopefully, it'll be BVD clear. You wake up in the morning and it's frosty, Baltic cold, and by 11 o'clock, it's t-shirt weather. It's like glorious blue sunshine. Shame the soil's so cold and the plants can't grow. Stanley flasks can't go too wrong. They're pretty bomb-proof, those things. You could drop it off a, a fair height and it would survive, I think. We're just trying to fill this really, really full because there's one bag left and I need to go along the road and fill a load of wheat. So hopefully get all this in and that'll finish off all of this product. No problem. Probably about 2.6 tonne in there total. The tractor might not be able to lift it, but it's not my issue anymore. I'm off. He's stuffed right to the brim. You can maybe get a wee bit more in, but that'll finish off this field. I'm heading along the road. I've got a load of peat, last load of peat that we've sold, load it, and then we'll get the big bucket back home. So last load of peat away, just loaded it, another 29 tonne. So we've got, now we know exactly, well, not exactly, but roughly how much we've got left to sell for this season before we get the next harvest underway. We don't need to sell it all, but prices are decent at the moment, so we might do. That's just a, a roofing specialist, a painter of shed roofs. We've got one of the roofs down there. Doesn't It's kind of starting to cause issues, cracking. There's a lot of moss on it, uh, which doesn't help, holds the moisture in the roof. So we're looking at possibly getting that looked at, clean it up, paint it. Update on this, water line still leaking. You can see just under there, drip, drip, drip. So, it's got two pairs of grips. I'll just tighten that up and it should seal it. It's just the fitting, it's, it's not the valve. Another update, it is the valve. The water's crossing across the top here from the valve, and then dripping here, I've just, looks like it's coming from here, so. I need to put a different valve on it. Don't know if we've got any more. So I just came back on the road about an hour ago from loading the last load of wheat. And in that time, we've managed to sell some more wheat and the lorry, lorry is already on its way. So I'm just going back along and then leave the bucket along because we've sold four loads. Another lorry. There's one more straight after this. This will be the sixth lorry of the week. Pigeons haven't eaten my spillage yet. Each bucket of the fartlift takes about two ton. That lorry's just loaded in a way, waiting on one more coming from Glasgow. Uh, just go and sweep the sweep the pile up. Usually the lorry drivers sweep it up, but. He didn't fancy it. Maybe because I've only got half a brush. Here comes lorry number two. Straight from Glasgow. First one was just next door to us, so. Getting loaded up, that'll be two away. One more full. There's another one on the way apparently, so that's gonna be three done in 40 minutes, 50 minutes, perfect. The wheat store is starting to disappear. This was all full just last week, right up to this stanchion here all the way across. Final lorry has arrived, 30 more tons. That'll be 120 tons today. Just in a field of spring barley now and you can see the rows all coming up. All looks good. It's come through the surface nicely. It's still needing some moisture to to break down the 
fertiliser we put on, you can see it's still on the surface. Once it rains, we that'll soak in and the, the roots of these plants will, will take it up. But it looks really good, coming up nicely. And you can see wee weeds there. So they should have picked up the spray that we put on that was a thin film across the whole of the field. They should have picked that up and then the chemicals in then will kill them off, but they won't kill off the barley. It's specifically designed so it doesn't attack anything that's in the barley family. That was the field just there and then there's another one there. It's exactly the same. It's all just through very nicely. Should just keep going up the way now. Kevin's just washing out the fire spreader. And it's finished for the day. So am I. Got plenty of weight away today. I need to get a question of the day though. Today's question of the day, what is this for? It's quite a hard one, but if you're into cars and whatnot, you might know what this is. It's got a wee metal bit and a kind of a loop strap. And it's got a half inch hole, square hole. Yesterday's video, I made a statement that sheep are a bit of a doddle, which I stand by. It can't be that hard, is it? But here you go, I've had a better response. Um, from some uh, keen sheep lovers. Oh, hi, Crawford. This sheep malarkey is just no bother. Hi, Crawford. Thanks for your help the other day there. Just a doddle. Just a 